Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. I may have missed out on doing this AKA gameplay video yesterday, but better late than never. We have four of the new cards. Well, actually we have six, but one's a lineman and also one's a punter. So kind of hard to showcase those four, but these four today, hopefully we can showcase pretty well. With that being said though, I do want to give a shout out to Jet for being a part of the Nordy gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on and comment down below, Nordy gang. Also guys, shout out to you guys that sign up in Underdog Fantasy using code Zerk to get that Justin Herbert half a completion special. My NBA picks for today are up right now, so if you guys wanna check out Underdog Fantasy, make sure you use code Zerk so you'll be ready for the next special, and also, so it'll match first deposit up to $100. Now we do have four of these new cards, so I'm gonna go over all their stats and also go over their abilities, try to be as quick as I can and we'll hop right into the gameplay but we do have lamar jackson who has 96 speed 96 throw power you guys can see the stats on him uh any boost that you guys see it's because i have strategy items 95 juke move 99 change of direction and in terms of abilities we are running the truz the big truz of course uh which you do get five plays on and then it goes away for five plays and then gunslinger set feet lead horror master that in my opinion is what you want to run on him fearless you can get it for one instead of horror master but personally Kind of neat hot route. Now, probably the best card of this entire promo, I shouldn't even say probably, he is the best card, is AJ Dillon because his X Factor actually currently is glitched because it's supposed to go away and it doesn't. He has freight train pretty much the entire game, but he has 95 speed, 95 excel, 98 truck, 98 break tackle, 96 change of direction uh, as i said he starts the game with freight train and uh from what i've heard he doesn't actually lose it like he's supposed to lose it after five plays and then get it back later yeah he doesn't which is insane and that's only one ap and then we're using persistent which makes him harder to knock out of the zone where he actually has to get tackled twice behind the line of scrimmage to lose his freight train he also does get tank in here but I'd rather just use Persistent and his other abilities. And I'm also going to try my best to showcase Tyreek Hill, who has 97 speed, 99 acceleration. Uh, we do have Yak Him Up on him, which, you, again, you guys can see what that does. You break the first post-catch tackle uh, for 1 AP. Short out elite, route tech for 1 AP. I feel like that is definitely uh, what you guys want to be running on him. I do also have Jake Gillian and Ryan Jensen on the team as well, just so you guys know. But today, of course, we're going to be showcasing Jamal Adams, 95 speed. 94 excel 98 zone 97 hit power six foot one i will say though we're not going to be using his x factor i don't really feel like it's worth it i just don't really see a lot of fumbles this year so i, I don't think like it's worth using the one ap on him but we are going to be using crusher for zero ap and a pick artist for one ap let's get into it if you guys are looking to get better at madden 23 and you want tips ebooks and advice from madden pros then make sure to check out hotroute.tips and use code zark for 10 percent off and get better at madden 23 today let's get into this and see what we can do now will let you guys know i am going to be using the ravens offensive playbook which i don't really ever use except from when i have a scrambling qb i'm trying to showcase so we're gonna try to run the ball run some read options i really really want to showcase for you guys aj dillon because that card is just insane but i'm also gonna try to get the ball to tyreek so we'll see how it goes so as you guys can see with persistent on him it says don't get tackled for a loss zero out of two so you literally have to get tackled for a loss twice to lose it with this aj dillon card i mean he's literally like eric dickerson 2.0 and you guys can see not gonna be for a loss and i actually think that i forgot to change my offensive playbook not gonna lie to you guys i think i forgot to change my offensive playbook but aj dillon in the open field breaking tackles let's go you know what i take it back we might not run any read options mostly because i don't have any read options in this offense playbook but you know what it's okay we're still gonna pound the ball and sling it with lamar so i'll be honest it seems like i play way way better when i don't try to do anything crazy with my qb and i just you know play normal and just try to sling the ball so we'll see what we can do here. Third and six coming up. We got CD. Yup, CD Lamb all day. CD Lamb, let's go with a stiff arm too. I haven't got the ball to Tyreek Hill just yet, so we might look to go to him here if he's gonna be open, which doesn't look like he is, but we do have Herman Moore open. Let's go. Which, by the way, you guys will notice that with Lamar Jackson, his release is actually pretty good. Like with Gunslinger, his release is actually very, very solid. 
So, third and seven. Okay, I don't see that getting open. Kittle, that is a crazy risky throw for the touchdown. I can't even lie, guys. I feel like maybe that should have been a pick because his safety just did not react at all. I thought George Kittle was going to get way more separation. As soon as I saw his user, you know, wasn't sitting over there, that's where I wanted to go with the ball. But we got kind of lucky as we start off with a sack. I'm not going to be usering on Jamal Adams. I'm just going to have him out here. More than likely, they're playing in the flats or playing in a purple zone. That's kind of just like where I like to have him as going to throw out to the flats there. Bo, oh, a hit stick. Let's go, Jamal. Jamal Adams there with the beautiful, beautiful hit stick. Third and 16 coming up, though. I think I know what he's going to do. Is he going to try to throw down the seam right here to this right side? I think it might be just four verticals. Nope, it's not. Okay. I'm going to look out for that. Come back across the middle. Once again, another sack. Another sack right there. Fourth and 23 coming up. Can we get another sack here? Uh, to be honest, like going forward on fourth and 23 from your own nine yard line, maybe not something that I would recommend as he almost got it though. So we're now down to the nine yard line and I mean, hey, we have A.J. Dillon. We've got to give the ball to A.J. Dillon as he's going to break those tackles and fall forward for the touchdown. I'm telling you guys, this is the best running back in the game. I know obviously in Madden 20, like the run game was way, way better than it is now as thought that was going to be picked. So obviously like the blocking and stuff in Madden 20 was way better. But when you compare the cards of Eric Dickerson in Madden 20, if you guys did not play Madden 20 and had to deal with that Eric Dickerson, you don't understand the pain that, they, oh wow, nice juke move. You don't understand the pain that that card caused people. So what made that card so overpowered really was the amazing run blocking in Madden 20, but this card's like Eric Dickerson 2.0 essentially, as I don't even know what just happened right there. I think he hit the O-lineman. And now on fourth and five, let's see if we can get another stop here. Is he going to try to throw it to the flats maybe over the middle? And Champ Bailey, nice play. All right, fourth and ten coming up. We kind of stalled out here, but I'm really trying my best. Uh, to get the ball to Tyreek Hill, and we just couldn't get the ball off. To be honest, like that entire possession right there, I was trying to get the ball to Tyreek and just either didn't have enough time in the pocket or my opponent was usering on him. So I'm going to try my best to get the ball. Good tackle. There's no way my opponent is about to start running the football, right? Like he just did that one run and okay, I, okay. I guess he is actually going to try to run the football. Now for sure, he's about to go to the air here. But two and a half minutes left in this half, and he is going to be passing the football. Get a tackle. All right, fourth down and five coming up. Let's see if we can get a stop and good throw. Uh-oh, not good, not good. I got stuck on the corner. This is not good, and Champ Bailey with his second interception of the game. Big time interception. A big time interception right there. We have a minute left to go down the field. And I'm looking to go to Tyreek, who is not going to be open. We just got to throw that away. Once again, I'm really, really trying to get the ball to Tyreek Hill. He's just not getting open, unfortunately. Second and 10 coming up, though. Look at that. Wide open. George Kittle, keep eating. All right, only 31 seconds left here. Let's see what we can do as we can get the ball to Tyreek Hill. And Tyreek, after the catch, make a move. So we didn't end up scoring on that possession there, mostly in due part to some terrible clock management for me but we're still 14 nothing so we're doing pretty good i'm trying my best to get the ball to tyreek hill like i really really want to in this half as good interception ted Hendricks. i'm gonna go down here but i'm gonna really try my best to get the ball to tyreek hill as much as i can but we also you know do have this really really good card right here in aj Dillon. but tyreek open over the middle took a hit stick you can really see it as soon as tyreek hill gets the ball he is just so electric and obviously, super, super fast, right? 97 speed, A.J. Dillon plowing ahead. Now, I really want to see if we're able to hit the outside here with A.J. Dillon. And let's bounce this one back. A.J. up the middle, breaking tackles and falling forward. This card is truly just nasty. But down to the 10-yard line here, I want to go to Tyreek, who unfortunately is not open. But again, a great quick throw there from uh, Lamar. You know what? I don't ever run RPOs, but I'm going to try this. And, yep, we haven't. Oh, we didn't get any good blocks out there. Unfortunately, no good blocks right there, but we might be able to quick... But No, he's going to be all over it. He is definitely going to be all over Tyreek Hill, which if he is, I think we're going to have A.J. Dillon. What happened? Did, did A.J. slip or something? I don't really know what just happened right there, but somehow... 
AJ Dillon got bumped or something, and that route is obviously a really, really big timing route, so I threw it as soon as I had to throw it. And I think AJ got bumped and just wasn't able to get to the spot, which led to that being an interception, so that's very, very unfortunate as he hits Tyreek Hill again. Because that easily would have been a touchdown right there for AJ Dillon. Would have loved to have that for the gameplay, but we'll get it back again. Second and seven coming up here, looking out over the middle, and... Acrobat activated and actually just made it worse. All right, so third and 10 coming up. Let's see if we can get a stop here on my opponent as everything is completely bagged. I had absolutely everything there locked up as, okay, he's gonna be changing up his formation here. All right, let's look out for Zach Ertz. That seems to be like his go-to target here, and no, it's DK. All right, and on third down and four, I'm getting a bit risky here, and I'm sending a blitz, and it comes through. I already know this guy is not gonna take a check down here in fourth and 11, so I don't have to look out for the flats, but they're gonna call DPI, right? Because I bumped into him. I tried to drive off the receiver. DPI. All right, second down and five coming up here. Let's see if we can get a stop. I'm going to look out for Tyreek Hill, and we get another sack. The D-line pressure this game has been crazy. We are absolutely screaming at this guy. And on third and six now, I'm going to look out over the middle here, and nothing is open. That should be a pick, and it is going to be an interception for Charles Woodson. With only a minute and 55 seconds left, I still want to try to get the ball to Tyreek Hill. And also, let's see what we can do here. A.J. Dillon, we actually got tackled for a loss. So you guys can see, for the first time this entire game, we now no longer have Freight Train activated on A.J. Dillon, but this card's still good by itself. And on third down and eight now, I'm once again going to try my best to get this this ball to Tyreek Hill. Perfect route, perfect catch. All right, let's see if we can get him the ball again here. 47 seconds left, and unfortunately, he's not going to be open. I try to go to Kittle. And on second and 10, he might not guard the flats here, and actually he is, but Tyreek Hill once again, one-on-one. -on -one, I'll take that all day. And now you guys can see AJ Dillon is reactivated, and on third and six, we're going to have Herman. Wow. That's a bad pass. I was going to say we have Herman Moore wide open, but unfortunately, we couldn't get the ball to him. Fourth and inches coming up. Can we pick up this first down? And we have Tyreek Hill for the first down, and that's pretty much the game. I don't ever like to, you know, run up the score or anything here, but with only eight seconds left, I'm going to try to get the ball to Tyreek once again, and we can't get into the end zone. Let's see if we can pound it in. All right, let's see if we're able to run this ball in down at the four-yard line to end the game off, and uh, that's probably on me i definitely had the inside there i do want to say i honestly just don't really do the best job when it comes to scrambling qbs and uh playing with those type of quarterbacks but even for me i actually like this lamar a lot his release is good if you run a lot of read options whatever i think he's by far the best quarterback in the game for you personally i don't you guys saw my offense right there that's pretty much how I would play my offense, aside from the fact that obviously I'm trying to force feed the ball uh, to those two players there. So some plays I probably wouldn't make the same. Uh, but with Lamar Jackson, even without scrambling with him, this card's good. Unfortunately, I forgot to change my playbook, so I didn't really get to showcase the Truz X Factor. But you guys already know what it is. Pretty much you just won't fumble. Uh, so read options are crazy. AJ Dillon. Eight carries, 33 yards, five broken tackles and a touchdown. This card is absolutely amazing. He falls forward a ton. Uh, he's going to break a lot of tackles. He is the best running back in the game. Tyreek Hill, seven for 104. Uh, we also had a 29-yard catch with uh, A.J. Dillon. And did we do anything at all with... I don't know if we did actually. Did he even get a tackle? Looks like he did. So he had one tackle with Jamal Adams. Defensive players, it's kind of hard to showcase defensive players all the time but AJ Dillon stud Lamar Jackson stud Tyreek Hill stud check out underdog fantasy use code zerk let me know down below what you guys think about all these cards see you guys next time if you guys enjoyed this video check out these